welcome back my dear student in this lecture I want you to pay attention I don't want you to open up any any files I don't want you to follow me or anything like that just pay attention because I'm gonna go over some of the main folders in the application some of the main files so that way you have an idea all right and you know so let's let's go ahead and start doing this so I got this project here called mail open um, and we're gonna go over the main files the main files are this the folders let's start with the folders the app folder we have the config, database, resources, public, and vendor. All right, EMV. All right, and gigignore, composer.json. These are the main folders right here. All right, that I just outlined. So let's go to the app folder first. All right. So this console events and exceptions and listeners and policy and providers, well, and policy and listeners are really intermediate and for advanced users. For beginners, we're going to be using mostly HTTP, all right? Here we have our controllers, all right? Our controller classes are going to be in there. We're going to have a middleware, which is security, and we're going to have a request. I know this might sound like alien for you right now, but don't worry. You know, by the time you finish this course, you're going to be very familiar with it, all right? Of course, uh, we also have a, the kernel. All right, that's like I said, it's a little bit more advanced. This is where you register your security classes for middlewares, your middlewares basically. All right, but anyway, another main folder or file that you're going to be using mostly all the time is routes. In routes.php is where we create our, and let me see if I have something already. Well, here in routes, you can see this route here is going to the root directory. All right, so basically in this routes.php file we have we control our routes for our application so if we want to go to admin forward slash user we create a functionality here that will uh, redirect users to that uh, specific uh, url all right so basically here we construct the url of our application it's really cool stuff and right now it might seem a little confusing but don't worry it's going to be very clear later on all right all right so um, let's go let's see if we have anything else here no nothing else I want to show you all right what else config the config folder here we have app.php this is where we register our other classes that we want to use from another provider right like uh, I don't know if we want to use a uh, package a plugin right this is where we come and register that class if we want to use a plugin for let's say uh, a form plugin or some type of a uh, password plugin that we found somewhere on another website um, on github or something this is where we come and register that class so that way we can actually or that package if you want to say that if if you want to uh, say it like that this is where we register that package and so that way we can use it in our application all right, we have our database connections right here. So we have our SQLite to connect to SQLite to my SQL to Postgres, right? Oops. So this is, and, and if you notice that this is returning an array, all right? Here we, you can see that we have this function that is pulling information from somewhere else. Now this EMV function goes to our EMV file right here and pulls out the information from here because what this is is a security measurement that, La that Laravel uh, you know implements by doing this and thi using this file gig ignore all right we are ignoring this files from our application that way when we push it to github or we give it to somebody else right those files are ignored all right so it says gig ignore is gonna ignore those when we make a commit and for those of you that don't know what a commit is it basically is a command that will push this project to github which is a repository online for you know sharing projects so you can other people can contribute to your projects it's really cool stuff you're gonna learn that later in the course you're gonna love it but anyway so Laravel implements on security measurement because we don't want to save data all right in our files we don't want to push this information we don't want to, we could however put put the information here and hardcore hardcore this information but when we push a project the information from here is going to go to that other uh, person or team and you don't want that so that's why we have this that emv all right and gig ignore but anyway let's go to our mail here we set up our mail all right configurations so 
let's go and another one here we have our database and we're not going to go over the rest of this right here because these are more advanced stuff and i don't want to confuse you right now so i'll probably do that in an intermediate uh, course i mean not confuse you but create a course to explain that to you all right so the database folder here we have factories all right factories are classes that we can use in laravel to create content just like a factory, right? Create stuff. We have a factory of, I don't know, users, uh, information, um, post information, migrations are basically a functionality in Laravel that we can use to execute uh, and create tables with columns. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so we're going to be executing some um, commands that will allow us to create tables in our database. So that way we don't have to go to the database and create it. We can do it from here pretty simple stuff pretty uh, pretty cool all right so out of the box we got some two migrations we got the users table already and password um, uh, features here so what once we execute a command it's going to create these two tables in our database all we have to do is create a database that's the only thing that we have to do all right seeds is we create a lot of if we want to create a lot of content for a website or application this is where we we create a seed all right, pretty cool stuff out of the box uh, functionality with Laravel. We have the public folder, of course. This is where we're going to have our um, CSS folder, our JavaScript, and we don't have that yet here, but this is where they will be available to the public. Our images folder, all right. We have our resources. This is where we have our assets. We can keep SAS uh, basically and compile that to CSS. Well, I'll show you that. I'll show you how to do that later in the course. It's gonna be really cool stuff. All right, language. We have our views. That's where we keep the views. So our uh, our markup. All right. This is what you're gonna be seeing. What we're gonna be accessing our markup for a uh, application. So you, if you have a post folder with some post uh, .html files in there, a contact page, or I don't know. Anything that has to do with HTML markup will be here in views. Anything that the public will see or anything that your user in your application will see will be in views, all right? Anything related to HTML. This is the folder with it, all right? Out of the box, we have, well, we have emails, all right? We have errors. We have a, 403, a 503 page here. We can create a 404 page. I'm going to show you how to do that later. We have our vendor, all right? what else storage this is a little bit more advanced we're not going to go into detail with that i might touch up on this a little bit on the course tests we can uh, run tests and the vendor this is where all our packages will be installed all right it will be located so when you install a package in laravel they will be right here out of the box you can see the laravel and i think already created some extra files in this application so let's see right here resources view so I think this file doesn't this is a test.blade let me see click on it yeah this file was created by me guys so emails this file you will not see this probably in your Laravel installation all right errors that's something that comes by default all right but these emails you probably won't see that because I just created that file to for some lectures all right but anyway don't worry if your structure in views when you have a package is not the same as mine because Laravel always keeps updating. So when you install a new Laravel project, you will probably see new files in every two or three versions, all right? And, and folders. So anyway, here in Vendor, you will have all those classes, all right? So by default, you have a lot of um, dependencies, all right, with Laravel, all right? And if you go inside, you can go and dig into those classes all right pretty complex stuff we don't want to deal with that now you're gonna get very familiar with it as you learn stuff in Laravel all right all right here we have we already went over the dot DMV all right um, this dot DMV example which I didn't explain basically this is the file that you have in production all right, and you send this file when you when you push a project, and then the developer will fill in the their they put in their information in the git um, in this example file, and and 
rename it to that .env. All right. Basically, it's just to give them a copy, uh, a skeleton copy, so they can put their information. All right. But this .env file will not be sent when you're doing a git uh, command. All right. We have our artisan. Um, this we're, we're gonna go over artist. We're gonna learn how to do artisan commands, and that's what we're gonna be using a lot of it mostly. Composer Json. This is where you, um, when you use Composer, this is where you you require those packages. As you can see. We got a Laravel framework installed with Composer. That's when you create a Laravel project. And I got this Guzzle HTTP package installed. All right. You probably won't have that by default. All right. And we got some other stuff here. And of course, the order load, order loading the database and a lot of cool stuff here. And very confusing. Don't worry about that. They're going to be, they're going to get very familiar. We got a gulp file here. We're going to use this functions here to compile. SAS into CSS. We're going to learn that later. Really cool stuff. Package adjacent. All right. This is where uh, you're going to actually uh, have some dependencies here. All right. As you can see, we have Laravel Elixirs and um, we have Gulp. All right. But anyway, you, we don't need to go over this stuff uh, since they are a little bit more advanced, but I wanted, I wanted you to get very familiar. So just to recap a little bit. All right. App. HTTP controllers, middlewares, and requests are here. This is where your routes are. All right, that's the main folder. All right, cool. Then we have config. This is where you register your plugins, your packages. All right, this is where you, database is where you have your uh, database connections. But remember that we set that up right here in the EMV, and you put your database information here, your database name, username, and password. All right, by default in Laravel. Uh, we have Homestead as a database, user name as a uh, You have to change the database name for your database name, and then the username will be the same, and the secret will be the same by default in Laravel. If you're using Homestead, which is a another functionality of Laravel that we're not going to be using in this course because it's a little bit more advanced. But we're going to be replacing this with our default database uh, name for PHP my admin and our username and all that stuff. Not our default database name. We're going to create our custom uh, database name, but we're going to be putting our username, which would be root by default with PHP my admin uh, for MySQL. And our secret password is going to be empty, of course. But anyway, so database, we have our mail connection here. All right. So those are the main files there for our mail. And then we have our factories, we're not going to be using that much, uh, but we probably touch up a little bit, maybe in maybe bonus lectures or an intermediate course. But anyway, migrations, we're going to do this extensively in the course. All right. Uh, then we have the public where our CSS folders will be, JavaScript folders, images, folders, and files. Then we have our views right here. All right. This is where we're going to be keeping our views so we can access them from the controllers. All right. And this is where the packages will be, but you don't need to concern yourself with this because this will be added automatically when we do some certain commands in our application. But anyway, so that's it for giving you a little bit overview about the file structure so you can get familiar and we're going to continue with the course. Thank you so much and I'll see you then. Take care.